All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my next review in the series, the first set for the Dark Horse Game of Thrones action figures. This one will be a quick figure review for the Tyrion Lannister figure. Okay, so this was a review sample that was sent to us from the uh, HBO store, so definitely wanted to do that before I send this out. This is one that was uh, won in the giveaway uh, by a YouTube user named Peyton Engelstad, so he won this, so congratulations to him. Uh, and you guys can still enter the giveaways each week. Uh, did this one, the Jon Snow, is uh, for Episode 8, which I haven't picked a winner for yet, so if you want to go watch the review for Episode 8 and put a comment for your favorite scene in the episode, you can still enter. Definitely want to thank the HBO store for these promotional uh, figures and stuff. Uh, really cool to be able to give this out to you guys. Really makes me happy to you know give something to you guys. Really cool. Uh, random, of course, is, is all all random. Um, yeah. So congratulations to him. Enter the giveaways that are coming up soon, guys, and the rest of them throughout the rest of the uh, the season. There's only two episodes left, anyway. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much to the HBO Star. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out if you want to buy some awesome Game of Thrones banners, figures, cups, shirts, all kinds of different awesome stuff. So here we have uh, the Tyrion figure in his like season one. Um, you know, uh, clothing. I want to say this is even prior to Hand of the King, I think. He's holding like a map, I think. Uh, here we have a picture of him on the side, Peter Dinklage. On the back, we've got a bio. I'll read the bio. It says uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, the third and youngest child of Tywin Lannister, Tyrion has been scorned, derided, and underestimated all his life due to his being a dwarf, indeed. Uh, he is known being a dwarf. <laughs> being a dwarf. Uh, he is known far and wide as the imp. <laughs> His intelligence and good humor have helped him weather many hardships with a little help from wine and whores. <laughs> Having lived most of his life decidedly outside the Game of Thrones, he becomes an unwitting player when he is falsely accused of murder and put on trial. The first time he's put on trial. Because uh, he's put on trial twice now. <laughs> An event that soon leads to all-out war. Both times he didn't commit he didn't commit the crime, right? Uh, both, uh, soon leads to all-out civil war. Then, in the wake of Ned Stark's death, Tyrion is appointed to the office of Hand of the King. Why me? Why not anyone? <laughs> awesome. Let's open them up and take a look. Okay, and here is the Tyrion figure out of packaging. You can pick these up at the HBO store. Like I said, link in the description if you want to grab one. Um, it's pretty cool. So just like the Cal Drogo that we reviewed the other day, uh, these figures do not have any articulation. So it's basically a statue, um, which is you know a really low price statue at around I think they're around like twenty five, twenty six dollars, something like that. Uh, and they do have quite a bit of uh, of detail. I do like the coloring. If you look at the red, really deep dark red, which is really cool, and then black on the sleeves, everything like that uh, hair color pretty nice brown I usually think it's a little bit lighter than that but you know the other figure there's another Tyrion figure they released as well too uh, this one from a different company this one's got a little bit lighter hair color uh, but these have articulation so there's a couple different sets you can see also though the difference in terms of height they're almost the same price this one's quite a bit bigger uh, than this one smaller but has articulation again so it depends what you like um, but again you know we discussed that in the Cal Drogo review uh, so he's got some kind of map here which I'm not exactly sure you know what it is it's like a map of I want to say like Westeros I think um, you can't really see too much because he's kind of holding it towards himself and he does have his uh, his dagger here at the side um, and I'm pretty sure this is his kind of Lannister you know colors prior to his uh, his hand of the king uh, also like a, a mound that he's standing on that kind of thing in pretty good detailing all throughout the head sculpt is pretty good I want to say I think it does look like Peter Dinklage quite a bit I do think the hair might maybe should be a little bit lighter but it's not too bad like maybe like this one uh, or maybe do it like this but then put some like uh, highlights on it you know what I mean like a uh, highlight blonde something like that That'd be cool, too, if, if they would have done that. Uh, no articulation at all anywhere around the figure. So not much to discuss there. And, uh, yeah, so there's the Tyrion figure. So pretty cool stuff. I'm uh, going to send this one out right away. And uh, heads up for more Game of Thrones videos, guys. Going to do lots right up leading through to the finale, of course, um, because, you know, it's been so <laughs> just so amazing. In terms of a score... For this one, as like a statue, because I don't rate it as like a, as like a really low price statue, not as a as you know a figure that has articulation. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of ten. It's it's not bad. Uh, I think the likeness is pretty good. I think the coloration, uh, definitely the clothes are good. The hair could be a little bit lighter, and uh, that's pretty much all I gotta say for for this one, guys. So uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. Please thumb it up below. If you want to support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. And uh, that's all I gotta say for this one. I'll see you guys for another figure review for the Game of Thrones Dark Horse figures pretty soon. Probably do the Jon Snow within a few 
few days and then pick a winner for that one randomly from the comments for episode eight. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you again real soon. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace.